After starring in two beloved sitcoms, Everybody Loves Raymond and The Middle, Patricia Heaton started soul-searching for what's next in her life. And she shares what she found in her new book, Your Second Act. Please welcome back to The View, Patricia Heaton. Hey. Hi. Good to have you Hi. back. Thank you for having me. I so, appreciate it. It's nice to see you it's all. A pleasure. It's a pleasure. Now, I heard a, a, a rumor, we're going to get to your book, but I, I hear that, you know, you and Ray Romano have kept in touch, but you asked him for a specific favor recently. What was that? Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm so kind of notoriously um, absent-minded, maybe is the word, in, in our family, and uh, I got a text uh, at the beginning of the year from my youngest son, Dan, who said, uh, well, happy birthday to me, I guess. And I was like, oh. I said, Dave, we forgot Dan's birthday. Not only was it his birthday, it was his 21st birthday. And so, and he was at school and I felt so terrible. So I texted all my celebrity friends and said, I gave them Dan's number. This is how terrible a mom I am. I'm fobbing off my parental duties onto my friends. And um, I, I said, please text Dan and wish him happy birthday. So, I mean, he had a wonderful birthday because he was texting in, with, in front of his college friends with Ashley Tisdale. But he also got a personal video from Ray Romano, which I think you have. Hey, Dan, I know it's a, a little noisy. Uh, I understand it's your 21st birthday, according to my calendar. Uh, I guess your, your parents don't have the same calendar that I do. But I keep track of things. So happy 21st birthday. And you know who else keeps track of things? Everybody in my family. Happy birthday. Joy. Uh, Patricia. Hi, so, Joy. Yes, no, you're not a bad mother. You're just distracted. You know, there's a thing called a good enough mother. And that's good okay. enough. So, um... Let's talk about your career, because you've had a lot of success playing um, middle-class uh, ladies who, um, let's see, who um, traditional, basically they're traditional, traditional roles of, of, a, of women facing day-to-day -day struggles of the home and family. What is it about, you're kind of like the um, Donna Reed of the 20th, 21st century, oh. would you say? You're like her? That would be, yes, I would, I'll Not take bad. that comparison. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So, well, what is it about these roles that resonates with you? Do you think? What? What? Or, or with the country? Well, you know, Joy, I didn't really actually start making my living as an actor till my early 30s. So I had a very long struggle, and I, I still like every time I walked on the lot of Warner Brothers, I would kiss the ground. I could not believe that I get to do this. And I, I, I think maybe for me, I relate to, I still relate to that struggle, that everyday struggle. And it's how, you know, I grew up with a, ma, a, stay, a mom who stayed at home. And so I think um, I just have a real connection with those characters also as a mom myself. And, and the, the schedules that I had on Raymond uh, really afforded me to be both like sort of a full-time actress and a full-time mom. So I really understand the struggles and obviously I continue to struggle with it. <laughs> now, um, after raising your uh, four sons, you and your husband are now empty nesters, which you say gave you space to reinvent yourself. And you write about that in your new book, Your Second Act, um, in hopes of inspiring others really to do the same. Tell us about that. Well, we were empty nesters um, before the pandemic hit. Now three of them are back at home. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Which is great, actually. It's been a lot of fun <laughs> to be together. Um, however, um, you know, once I, they left the house and the middle had ended, I, and I felt like I wasn't quite anchored, and I think a lot of people can go through that. Um, so that's one way of like where you start by reflecting on like, who am I? Where's my identity? Why am I here? Why am I on this planet? So there's that. Um, all, but also this pandemic has brought in this whole thing of either people have lost their jobs, which is a huge problem. And so they are going to be forced to figure out a new way to, to earn a living. Or people uh, maybe still have their jobs, but have had this time to reflect on like, what do I really want to do with my life? Because we've now seen 
how fragile life is, how precious it is, how important our friends and family are, and and how precious all the, the hours of every day are. And so some people have, have had the opportunity to say, maybe when this all goes away, and it will go away, that we, you know, maybe I should be doing something different with my life. For me, um, I did have a, a, a sitcom that failed, Carol's Second Act, which I write about in the book. At that time, when I was writing the book, I didn't know it was not going to be here. Um, but it's a wonderful thing about you know, being an actor is you're conditioned to have to go through these things. And I think I say, you know, make failure your friend. Learn from your failure so that it becomes a lesson and not a failure. Um, and I started producing. So when the pandemic hit, I was producing a feature comedy uh, that my husband, David Hunt, was directing. And we had to shut down with five days left to film. So we still have that left to go. Wow. Yeah. And I I found that wow. I love producing. I love it. I love not being in front of the camera. Um, I love watching right. the actors have to sweat it out. So I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, so it's been, it, you know, I've been doing that. And I've been an ambassador for World Vision for about five years now. Right. Um, and I'm traveling all over, seeing what's going on around the world. Lack of clean water, that kind of it's thing. It's a great... And I think that's it's great. And I, you know what? It's helped put the yeah. pandemic in perspective for me because there are people that yeah. still don't have electricity it's... and still don't have clean water. So. <laughs> right. Well, you know what? It, we are all going through it. And so the book is going to be yeah. helpful. We'd love it when you come. Come to see us again. Your new book, uh, Your Second Act, is out right now. You could get it uh, on Amazon and Audible.